Alright, so I got my um, shit cleaned up here. A little better organized. I can't, I hate clutter. So I got, I got a quite a rig over here, man. I went to Harbor Freight and I bought this magnet stand. It was like 13 bucks. But the, a part of this, the tip here, where the dial indicator bolts to, is here. So I used one of the um, cam plate bolts, which holds that in. And I got the dial indicator there right on the crank, set up mint. Got it all adjusted. Zeroed out. <clears throat> and it freaking works, man. <laughs> 30 bucks is what I got into it. Three thousands run out. That's that's good. I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. How can I zo how do I zoom out in with this? I want to double check that shit. man three thousands three thousands crank run out nice that was pretty legit man and now I can use this for automotive stuff so I won't get wasted or anything I'll show you this rig a little better here This is the, this comes with the magnet base on the end. So I just took the end part and then I, you buy the dial indicator that comes like this. It's like 12 bucks or something. And I use that top bolt and improvised and it worked. Three thousandths run out. Sweet worried about that because they say that anything over five you can't use the fueling or SNS because it'll wear more a bunch of shit out because you're forcing forcing it because it's double hardened cast it um forged or whatever that aluminum is super duty right on I'm gonna go get my bearing remover installer and let's bang that out all right we'll be back